it's official. It's fall, everybody. <laughs> this is my favorite season because colors changes from green to yellow, orange, and red. It is just so pretty, very aesthetic, but it can also be very annoying. <laughs> if it's your first time experiencing this season, let me spill some tea. As pretty as fall is, it can be very unpredictable. Just two weeks in and we're already getting forecasts of minus three degrees. And I am so not ready for that. <laughs> Anything can happen during fall. It can snow, it can rain, it can be cloudy, it can be sunny, you name it. And sometimes all of this weather happens in a day which makes it very difficult to plan for trips because everything is going to be dependent with the weather. Like for example, this week, we are planning to look for large trees, which are evergreen looking, but they turn yellow. And as per my friends who already went for a hike, they said that it's very pretty, but with the weather, saying that it might rain, it might be very cold, then who knows if we'll ever go. So if it's your first time experiencing Calgary, Canada fall, you have to start checking your weather app because it shows you the temperature for the day. And at the bottom, if you scroll down, also check the wind chill because sometimes even though it registers plus 10, it can be zero degrees in the wind chill because of the wind. Speaking of cold, you have to change everything, including your clothes, your skin care, your body care, your beddings, everything. <laughs> Before coming in Canada, it's a puzzle to me why I see people have seasonal clothing, but Two years in here, I've experienced the weather already, and I get it. Summer clothing are usually breathable, so if you want to use those same clothes for fall, you can be very cold. <laughs> it won't help you with the cold weather at all. So what I do, first thing I see that it's starting to get cold, I keep my summer clothes on the storage and bring out my fall clothes, which are jackets, knits, turtlenecks. Oh, I love turtlenecks, uh, long sleeves. And I also changed my beddings to a much warmer and thicker uh, blanket, comforter, whatever. My skin, my whole body is really, really dry. I don't know if you can see my, even my nail beds are really dry. <laughs> so, the creams, the lotions that I use during summer won't help me at all this fall. So I need to change my lotion to a much thicker con consistency. I need to change my face cream and I started using oils. You can say that this fall I brought out all my oils. Body oil, face oil, hair oil, all the oils. It can be quite expensive because you're changing everything. You know how much skincare is, right? It can cost you quite a lot. <laughs> so like one summer, I thought to keep that skincare routine on fall, but my face burned. Actually, I got wind burns here. It was very dry. It was very painful. It's not eczema, but it looks like eczema because it's flaky, but it's not itchy. So since then, I was like, no, I'd rather spend to make sure that I'm fully moisturized, I'm comfortable during the cold season or transitional weather, like fall, than have that, that thing on my face <laughs> because it's not fun. <laughs> Another thing I hate about fall is layering. I don't like that you have to wear a lot of things because then you have to laundry a lot of things. Hashtag adulting. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like that. And you have to bring a lot of things too because throughout the day, as I've mentioned, 
fall, you can experience all sorts of weather, all sorts of temperature. It can go from cold in the morning and then very warm in the afternoon. So you have to take off layers and you have to carry those layers, which I don't like because I lose stuff. The number of took or beanie that I've lost in a year. I know what I mean, talk about it. So what I do to prevent wearing a lot of layers is to wear an extra warm heat tech. I really like it because especially the top, I can just wear it on its own. Although it's a layering clothing, it is very, I like it. <laughs> I like how it looks. And I like turtlenecks too, because I don't have to wear scarves because like with my top right now, right? It's kind of open on this side. And sometimes my chest feels cold if I don't cover it, so I needed to wear scarves. But with turtleneck, I can go away with scarf. <laughs> this one you shouldn't skip, especially if it's your first time, because the air can be really, really, really dry. When it was my first time, I still didn't know what is happening. I still didn't know what to do. So what I did was I opened the windows because it was quite chilly. I like the breeze. I like to feel the chills. And all of a sudden, my nose started bleeding. I was already familiar that the air here is pretty dry because the first time I landed, I felt some pains here on my nose area as well as on my forehead area. And I didn't expect that my nose will bleed. But my friend said, that to prevent that from happening, I have to get myself a humidifier. So I get one. I went to the grocery store. You can actually buy it from anywhere. Drugstore, grocery store, Amazon, or other online um, website. So this is what a humidifier looks like. So just pull water in and then just turn this switch in. Depending on how humid you want your room is. So I usually just put it in the middle just before I go to sleep. And every time I wake up, I don't experience any pains on my nose, my nasal area because of this thingy. This saved my nose. <laughs> so if you're going to use something like this, um, try to use a filtered or a distilled water because if you just take water from the tap, it can have a limescape buildup and it can block whatever. It will not like that thing the smoky thing <laughs> i don't know what it's called <laughs> will not flow properly and your machine can get noisy so make sure to use filter or distilled water to to also um uh, lengthen the life of your machine of course i wouldn't end this video without telling you my fall essentials I really like long jackets that goes until up to the knees because it covers mostly my whole body which keeps me warm during fall and it's really essential that you make sure that it covers your bum because sometimes even though your upper body is warm if your bum feels cold then you might feel uncomfortable too long jackets can be expensive but I got mine for only $17. <laughs> if you're interested in knowing my money saving tricks, then comment them down below and I will create an episode for you. For now, let's get back to my fall essentials. I also like knits. I have knit socks, I have knit beanie or two, I have knit tops, I have knit cardigans, anything neat at all because they are cute, they keep you warm during fall, and they are very easy to wear. I like turtlenecks too because it keeps me warm. I don't need to wear a scarf, which I hate because I lose stuff. So with turtlenecks, the thing is you might feel that your neck is a bit restricted, but eventually you'll think that neck thingy if it's cold and the wind hits you. Heat Tech Extra Warm is the best for fall. I got mine from Uniqlo and they are perfect for the weather. Gives you warmth when it's cold and if it's not too cold, like cloudy and it's like 20, 16 degrees, it is still okay. 
I wish I brought a lot back home. I only brought two. And although there's a unique low here, the price is quite expensive. I would say it's still cheaper back in the Philippines because you can take advantage of sales and other stuff. So if you're still in the Philippines and you're preparing to come here in Canada during fall, make sure that you buy a lot of extra warm. During fall, I have my bottoms, my pants, my trousers a bit bigger to make room for layers. So usually I have a loser um, bottoms or at least a one size bigger bottoms. <laughs> Sometimes I don't want to layer. I just want to wear a pair of leggings and my go-to leggings is just cozy which I bought here in Canada already. So with just cozy, there are a lot of prints. They also have uh, the usual colors, the solid colors, and they are quite good. Even though it is one digit temperature, keeps me warm, I would say up to zero degrees. Just Cozy, I believe, only caters for women. Haven't seen um, selection for men. But if you want their leggings and you're just gonna use it for layering, then I suppose if you're comfortable, it is a very great choice. For shoes, I like Chelsea boots. So I have a Chelsea boots that is flat. I also have one with heels. So the one that I have, which is fairly affordable, is from, call it Spring. So I got it for only $30, I believe. And it has already gone through two fall cycles. So it's been with me and still okay. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it got a stain. I don't know where I got it from. I don't know how to remove it. I tried everything, but it just didn't work. For my heel boots, I got it from Sorel. It looks like it will not keep you warm during the cold weather, but it really does. The only thing about Sorel is you have, they have a narrow, um, shoe so you might want to order a half size or even one size bigger because we don't want your feet restricted with a shoe <laughs> and of course usually socks are thicker for fall and you want to have space for thick socks you might not see a lot of people wearing headgear during fall and maybe you'll feel like you're a bit overdressed but personally i like wearing a beanie or a toque whatever you call it or a cap every time i go out and it's cold and my head feels cold i get a headache so i don't really care if i look overdressed as long as I'm comfortable. So last but not the least on my list is a pair of glasses. So even though in the morning it can be very dark, very gloomy, and very cloudy, in the afternoon, usually fall, it is a bit warm and the sun is up and my eyes can just take that brightness. <laughs> so I always have my sunglasses with me. And that's my tea for fall. <laughs> Hope that you learned something from this tea episode. And if you like things like this, please share them on the comment section. I would make more if you enjoy this kind of content. And I just would like to say thank you for everyone who's subscribing to my channel. For those who's messaging me on my social media account, telling me that you find my videos helpful. I am really glad and I'm really happy that I am helping you out with your journey on your way to Canada. <laughs> All right, that's it from me today. I hope to see you on my next video. Bye for now.